So we've got a lot going on this weekend. We might as well jump right into it. Uh, perhaps one of the biggest stories to come out as of right now this morning is the fact that uh, the co-main event at UFC Greenville, uh, also known as UFC on ESPN Plus 12, you know, a name that just, you know, rolls right off the tongue. Uh, that the co-main event is, as of now, uh, cancelled between uh, Bantamweight's John Lineker and Rob Font, a rematch over the 2016 fight in which Lineker won by a unanimous decision. Uh, this is a huge blow to the card, uh, a card that was already pretty much uh, made on the basis of its main event between Hanato Moikano and uh, the Korean zombie Chan Sung Jung. That is a fantastic fight for the featherweight division, a fight that uh, all MMA fans should be excited for. However, I don't know if it's a big enough fight to uh, save the entire card. Now, you might be thinking, well, it's on ESPN, uh, ESPN Plus, and it's, you know, normal normal times. It shouldn't be a problem. But you're forgetting, you know, people not in the North American time zone. Uh, I'm in, I live in Sweden. Our website is based in Sweden. We have... and. If you think about the European fans uh, who have to stay up until about 3 or 4 in the morning just for the main card to start. For people in the North American and Canadian time zones, ask yourselves, would you sit up till 3 or 4 in the morning on your Saturday night to catch this card? And I think that kind of puts things into perspective a little bit. Uh, once again, I mean, me as somebody who works in the, in the industry, I'm there's a lot of fights I'm very excited about. Uh, Brian Barberina versus Randy Brown, uh, a very good welterweight matchup that I could see uh, pushing one of them closer to uh, to the division's top. Uh, we've got Alessio De Chirico against Kevin Hall in a middleweight bout, which I think will be a lot of fun and uh, will definitely do a lot for the winner there. Uh, we've got a strawweight bout between Ashley Yoder and Suri Kondo. Not necessarily a whole lot of stakes there, but then there's a featherweight bout between uh, Dan Ige and Kevin Aguilar, which I think will also be very, very exciting. And of course, violent Bob Ross himself, Luis Pena against Matt Wyman. Uh, when is Luis Pena not fun? He's got the best, one of the best nicknames in the game, and uh, yeah. It's definitely a fun fight. Uh, Yair's uh, Rosenstruck, I'm sorry, I completely butchered that name, but uh, uh, yeah. Yair Rosenstruck, the uh, Surinamese heavyweight who uh, really, really impressed a lot of people with his UFC debut, uh, winning uh, winning by, by uh, TKO. Uh, good fights, but they're not name worthy fights. These are not fights or fighters that the average mainstream. MMA fan is gonna go, oh hell yeah, this you know this is uh, what I'm tuning in for. It will be the main event, which is got most people excited, but this is kind of a telling for a problem that the UFC has had a little bit, which is uh, unevenly matched cards. Uh, if we look back at the last UFC event we had, every single fight in that card could have been a fight night main event. All right, we had two title fights. We had Tony Ferguson versus uh, Donald Cerrone. We had Peter Yan versus Jimmy Rivera. I mean, there were so many fights on that card, which could easily have filled up a main card uh, for UFC Greenville, uh, which could have given us a solid co-main event. I mean, to be completely honest, John Lineker versus Rob Font is not a killer co-main event. Um, you know, sorry, but like I said, this is real talk. This is just my unscripted thoughts and feelings. Uh, quick coffee break for those of us, uh, you know, addicted to caffeine. But I think this highlights a problem that the UFC has had. It's, you know, it's a bit uneven. Uh, there's been times where we've seen fighters uh, fights on the, on the undercards that could easily have been a fight night main event. And... I don't see the need to stack the pay-per-view cards as heavily as we do. I understand, obviously, there is a huge incentive to draw viewers to uh, ESPN uh, and other streams and, and uh, broadcasts. Uh, obviously, there's a big incentive there, but I still feel that like it could be done better. Uh, and you know, unfortunately, the big story leading up to 
or today anyway, for this bout, will, will be the, the scramble to find a new main event. Uh, I very much doubt that they will find someone willing to fight Rob Font on one day's notice. That guy is a, a, an underrated killer. Uh, but, it yeah, this definitely does highlight the problems. And, you know, God forbid that something were to have happened between, you know, Moikana or Korean Zombie. This card would not be able to stand on its own two legs without the main event. So it's really lucky that it was the co-main event and not the main event that this happened to. We still don't really, as of filming, we still do not know uh, the reason for uh, John Lineker withdrawing from about... Uh, injury is rumored, but not confirmed. Um, most likely the story will clear up a little bit uh, throughout the day. But yeah, I mean, I'm still looking forward to it. I'm going to watch the fights as I <laughs> am an MMA reporter and... It's part of my job, but for the random Swedish fans who who I have contact with every now and then for my friends here, when they ask me, hey, so should I should I sit up? Should I, you know, can should I not go to the club on Midsummer Night's Eve, which is by the way a huge deal in, in Sweden. It's like almost as big as Christmas Midsummer. Uh, I'm gonna say no uh, to, to my friends anyway because I want to be honest with them. Uh, I personally, if I were them, I would probably wait until tomorrow uh, or uh, Sunday I mean uh, to catch uh, to catch a main card I don't see the need for sitting up and and you know using up your entire Saturday night uh, to catch this main card uh, even though I think like I said a lot of these fights do interest me as somebody as an MMA reporter uh, and writer, there's a lot of fights that interest me personally, but I think will definitely be a lot of fun. I mean, Kevin Holland, come on, that guy has just got fight of the night running through his veins. Uh, but, you know, that's for me. Uh, and it's going to be hard for me to hype up some of these fights to people who aren't really as 